All men are not created equal in the fight game. Some fighters are blessed with crushing power. Granite chin or blazing speed. Uh -oh, in a tough spot in there. While nobody makes it to the top without a physical gift or two, when push comes to shove, it's a fighter's mind that separates the good from the great. No fighter in history had such natural poise under fire as we saw from Salvador Sanchez. They come from Mexico, they have a way of steadily coming at you. At age 23, already the lineal champion, already bordering on boxing immortality, he dies in a car wreck in his native Mexico. More remarkable, considering he had virtually no time to mature in anything so bourgeois as an amateur program. He's a pro by age 16, out of sheer necessity. It wouldn't take long for the gifted youth to find himself in the belly of the beast with far more seasoned fighters. It also wouldn't take long for those seasoned men to realize just how many moves ahead the prodigy was thinking. He's a guy with unique talent. He's one of the few fighters that's able to hurt his opponent and get rid of. When a champion is as physically talented as this man is, his main opponent is himself. Salvador fought his way to the top of a crowded boxing scene in Mexico City. As the prodigy learns his lessons, he finds himself in a number one contender fight with Richard Rosell. Rosell had a long amateur career and was trained by the legendary Angelo Dundee. Salvador took his time, played defense, like a cat watching a mouse. Salvador waited for Rizel to make the first move. At the end of the second round, Sanchez sees his opening. Once he sunk in his claws, Sanchez never let go. His introduction to the rest of the world came against Danny Little Red Lopez. Little Red had been dominating his division. Not just defending his title, he posted eight straight stoppages with his vicious power. From the opening bell, it was clear Salvador Sanchez was seeing the code. Every jab Lopez threw was an opening. Salvador's precision and patience were unreal for such a young man. It didn't matter what Danny did. Third round knockout of the 
Adam Hoover is in real bad trouble, Ted. Even that flurry did not do Every move he made was the wrong one. It was like watching a young Bobby Fischer hustling chess in the park. If the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over again, expecting a different result, Danny Lopez was a madman. Tried to throw the knockout punch. He lost the bout in the 13th round, and he was also good. Good punch on the forehead thrown by Sanjay, a slow starter, and he just caught a right hand. But he, Sanchez, the black trunks. His long title reign justified a rematch. The fight was a virtual rerun of the first. 75. By Lopez. Oh, he walked right in. Danny took the same patient, measured beating the second time around. The champion, I'm going to try to But Danny survived well. Salvador disassembled him like a mechanic pulling off a set of brakes. Salvador Sanchez, look at those quick hands. Salvador set about solidifying his dominance over his division. After disposing of Danny Lopez, he takes on the lanky puncher, Patrick Ford. Ford posed a puzzle for Salvador. The long reach made it difficult to get up close. Salvador had to make him miss in order to make him pay. Living up to the Sanchez pattern. Using the experience, waiting for the proper moment. Went to get the key blow in. Beat to the punch by Sanchez. Capitalizing. Sanchez. Remember, he is a superbly conditioned fighter with tremendous stamina. Can take a punch beautifully and knows how to wait. He's now using his upper body to try and keep Ford in there, mauling him. Salvador walked through some hellacious shots early, but quality tails over time. There was no finer 15-round fighter in history than Salvador Sanchez. He patiently worked the big man's body before going upstairs late. In the 10th round. Sanchez won a close but clear majority decision. Post his fourth defense of the featherweight title before taking on Roberto Castanon. 
Roberto looked like a back alley knife fighter in with an Olympic fencer. Sanchez is a classy fighter, polished. Sanchez calmly parries off Roberto's offense before counterpunching the Spaniard to pieces. Roberto held tough for 10 rounds. See Sanchez hands of the own is, but Sanchez a perfect gentleman. Good right again, as you saw. He can pretty much do what he wants. Before finally succumbing to the blase brilliance of the Mexican Grandmaster. Boxing faces. Must keep his but now he's ready to put him away. That's it. Davy Pearl did the right thing. A technical knockout in the tenth round. In a his next fight would truly kick off one of the most heated rivalries in all of boxing. His opponent was a Puerto Rican tank by the name of Wilfredo Gomez hitting the 122-pound division like a bullet in the back. He stopped every man he ever fought at that weight, including another Mexican legend by the name of Carlos Zarate. When Gomez moves up to Salvador's weight looking for a title, the Mexican fans were looking for revenge. With national pride and personal success on the line, each man brought his best. Gomez came out charging. Sanchez was ready. Sidestepped gracefully as a matador. Dropped at Boricua in the first round on a beautiful pair of punches. From then on, it was a matter of time and patience. Sanchez wasn't just picking Gomez apart. This was a vivisection, a blunt force surgery performed on a live resisting opponent. While Mexico enjoyed its revenge, Puerto Rico stood. Salvador then faced a British invasion head-on. Pat Cowdell was a tough scrapper with a good persistent jab. While the fight took place largely at range early, By the mid-rounds, the Brit's feet started to slow. Once he couldn't keep Salvador at range anymore, it was all downhill from there. Nobody, but nobody, wins a 15th round against Salvador Sanchez. With just seconds left in the fight, Sanchez puts the period on his title defense with a vicious right hand as the fight ends. Remaining 
remember, he cannot be saved by the bell. Inside the five-second mark, the fight is over, and what a fight! Anyway, champion of the world, Salvador Sanchez. His next opponent was something of an unknown. Azuma Nelson, held from Ghana, an African nation not known to produce world-class fighters. So when the professor stepped through the ropes with Salvador, he was a massive underdog. Sanchez. It didn't take long to see that Azuma Nelson was something special in his own right. Sanchez was his stoic surgical self. Azuma was meeting him punch for punch and step for step. That is until the seventh round when Sanchez drops the challenger on a left hook. Nelson regains his senses and comes storming back. The pair fought 15 majestic rounds. When in the 15th, down on two of the three judges' cards, the boy genius checkmates the professor to retain his title. Just three weeks later, Salvador Sanchez would lose his life while driving his Porsche through Mexico. His funeral was attended by 50,000 grieving fans. The stoic prodigy was gone, but the toughness and talent he showed in the ring inspired the next generation of Mexican boxers. <laughs>